Hi, everybody. It's Sandra. Look what I got. Two more jars. We're going to open one of these today. Then I'm going to share a small haul that I got today, a jewelry haul. And then also I got some other interesting things, including a Harry Winston thing, believe it or not. That looks like a Lucinda pin. Well, um, <laughs> little dog paw thing. That's probably a keychain. That looks intriguing, but let's see what this one looks like. Looks like a little pocket watch or something. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know which one. I guess we'll open this one. We'll open this one today. We'll do this one next time. Thank you so much, as always, for coming. Let's check out what's in this jewelry jar. I have no idea. Don't forget to tell me what your favorites are, okay? Let's get going. Well, let's see if the force is with us. Let's see how lucky we are. I think I saw... Well, those earrings that I just looked at, well, that we just looked at, I should say, I think there was something similar in one of the other jars. So I wonder if this is still that same, uh, that same donation. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So let's dump some of it out. Oh, you know what I keep meaning to mention? I don't know if I ever said this before, but if you're watching on an iPhone uh, and it seems too close, you know, pinch you know how you go like this? Pinch your screen like this, and that'll bring it to the original size. I did notice that. Someone mentioned it, and then I noticed it on my own phone um, a lot. So you just, you know, pinch it, and then it will be it will be not as close up, okay? Because I do really like to get in close on these things, but that way it's, like, too close. Well, this is cool. This seems like this may be real leather, too. I don't know. Maybe not, but that's a very, that's a very cute bracelet. It's nice and wide. I like that one. But let's take a look at this one. That's interesting with the cutout. You know, let me just lift it up a little bit. Copper. And this looks, let me see if we can see if this is real turquoise. Turquoise is not my thing. Stones aren't my thing. Maybe. Maybe. And, uh, is that, I don't know if that's, well, let me look. Let me see if that pin part is signed. It's not. It's just like schmutzy stuff. Well, I like this one a lot. I think this one's very cool. So I'll try to put the better stuff on the right and the sort of not better stuff on the left. Now, of course, you know, I'm looking at everything through a seller's eyes. I mean, I wear stuff too, but you know what I mean. This is pretty nice, but a stretchy. Those don't usually have great resale. <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. Let's see if I can find the other one. Uh, not yet. Oh, here it is. It is right here. These are neat. I wonder if these are from the 80s or if they're earlier. <laughs> those are a blast. Truly. Those are fun. I like those. And here's a bangle that is plastic. That whole thing is plastic. There is no metal there at all. I've never seen anything like that before. But this will be good to put in a lot at an auction. You know, these colorful pieces especially. Here's a stretchy. Plastic. And here's some more 80s earrings, I guess. Those are very, very fun. I did the 80s for Halloween this year. Can you imagine? Whoever thought in the 80s that I would be dressing up as 80s <laughs> for Halloween. But my husband did too. We had a couple costume. It was very, very funny. Uh, and the best part of it was, you know, putting jewelry on, of course. Boy, was I ready for that. So this is, you know, not in great condition. You see how some of that purple is not on? But this one, I think thought I saw both of these in there. So we'll put that one to the side. I think that we are going to find it. So here's three. 
um, bracelets with blue, <laughs> blue stuff. Uh, let me just check to see if these are marked real quick. I don't see any marks. I wonder if this is some sort of natural oxidation or if they made it like this, you know, just to look old. I'm not really sure on the, I'm actually just going to put them on the right uh, just in case. Okay, here's that other earring. I've seen these stretchies before. Isn't this nice? That's very nice. I think I'll put this in an auction, but oh, that's pretty. Oh, this is strange. That is cloth, a toggle class. This is, you know, not in, not in great condition. You can probably see like the fraying of the cloth and stuff. Not in, not really in good enough shape to even put on the neck, but uh, there, there are some cool components to it. I'm just not sure about that cloth stuff. Well, here's a cool looking pair of earrings. These aren't real. I can tell because of the weight of them. They're very light. They're too light to be silver. Watch, they're going to say silver. <laughs> I wish. Nah. Too light. Too light. These are nice, though. Those actually would look pretty on. And these are some sort of deco style. These are likely very modern, you know, like, like modern day. Um... I'm actually looking for some tops like this, so I'm going to put those to the side to repair something that I have. Look at these earrings. Now, these are very pretty. These I like very, very much. And these are not silver either, that's for sure. I don't know what kind of metal. It kind of uh, looks like pewter. I am, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I really like that. That's interesting. I guess those are roses, a little stone, plastic stone. I like those a lot. I think those are very pretty. This one is nice. I hope the other one is in here. Yeah, you could tell that one's a little bit older. We'll see if we can find the other one. Here's a little poodle pin. <laughs> cute, not very, uh, not high quality, you know, not nicely made, but he sure is cute. It looks like a standard size, right? We actually have somebody in our neighborhood who has two standard size poodles. I love them. We had a, a toy poodle when I was growing up, but I love to see the standard ones. You don't usually see them. Once in a great, great while, when I used to live in the city, there was one that used to be dyed pink. I don't know if they still do that, but that was the 90s, kind of crazy. Uh, these are very nice. These have age and they are pretty. This I was wondering about, oh my word, <laughs> what is happening? So super cute. That's really fun. I don't know how new this is. You think this might be from the seventies or something? I wonder, that's funny. You know who that looks like a little bit? Doesn't that look like Eddie Munster? <laughs> Just slightly. I actually met him once. I went to some, some like, I can't remember if it was a, a, a 60s, like a mod convention. It was some sort of a convention where they were selling vintage stuff. And I met him. I didn't get his autograph because I think it was like 20 bucks or something. But I met that, that guy. What was his name? Butch something. And then the other person who was there with him was Tabitha from uh, Bewitched. She's actually very pretty. What is her name? Aaron something, I think. Um, we had, we had something else to this. I don't remember now, but we did see this before. Uh, not sure. I'll put it over here in case. Oh, this is super fun. That's really fun. Look at the movement. I'll wear that. I like wearing stretchy rings. What do you think? I know it's cheap, you know, um, but I think it's fun and I'm going to wear it. So, so there, <laughs> this is one of those handmade, oh, maybe not, huh? 
Well, I don't know. I don't even know what it is. There's no end on it. And this is happy. Oh, happy everything. I wonder if this came from that store at the mall. You know that one where you can get things personalized? Is it called Things Remembered? That's kind of scratched and stuff. Well, I guess they broke up <laughs> or something. I don't know why that would be in a thrift store if not. These are actually pretty. I kind of dig these. I know they're gonna be too small for me, but these are good to put in the uh, to put in the auction. So I will do that. Oh, good. Here's this other one. I knew this was in here. These are neat, actually. I like that speckled <laughs> kind of thing. Those are cool. I'm glad I found the other one. And these look like they're from the '60s. Uh, these are neat. I actually like these. I do like white jewelry. Oh, that's cool. Look, they're gold here, white on the sides. Not signed. I guess I'll put those on the right. These are in bad shape. See all the discoloration? They were nice in their day. I'm sure somebody, you know, loved wearing the, loved wearing that, those. And this is this is just um, old. It needs to be put out to rest. This is a stretchy that's seen better days. All right, here's that other earring. Yeah, what is this colorful little thing? That's cute. Probably not old at all. These might have some age. These might be from the 70s. They look like they're from the early 70s, but not in great shape, unfortunately. Somebody loved them, though. And <laughs> those are probably from the 80s. Let's see what else we have for earrings. Eh, not, not great condition. Here's a stretchy ring that has quite a bit of wear to the metal. And these are ceramic, huh? Yeah. These aren't that bad. These seem like they're in nice condition. So put those in the in the auction. And here's a tack pin. I think that's American Cancer Society, right? That's actually cool. Very cool deco looking person. Well, this one has so much wear. That is well loved, as they say. Here's a cool necklace. Barrel clasp. That's fun. I don't know how old this is. It might be 80s. Not sure. And let's see. Oops. Here's one of these. Not real. I can kind of tell by the feel and the weight, too, you know? So let's see what else. Wow, not a lot of necklaces today. How's that for a switch? This is, um, <laughs> wow, this is really colorful, really long. I guess this must be a Mardi, Mardi Gras thing, right? Those are the Mardi Gras colors. That's fun. Not like high end or anything, that's for sure. Uh, this is pretty. Let's see. Oh, you do say something, do you? I see. It says Monet, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Monet. So let's, uh, there it is. <laughs> I was just going to see. Let's see what the catch is. Why aren't they selling this separately? I might have that same stone. I'm going to put that on the right and see if I can stick a stone in that. This is a stretchy ring. I do like wearing them, like I said, but that one is too beat up. Here's that other fun plastic earring. Here's some little earrings. Oh. What say you? I have no idea what that says. Let me see. It says Dana. Who is that? I don't know. Have I seen that before? Um, I don't know. 
I, not that I remember. Uh, I could be blanking, you know, as I do. Oh, look, an S. S for Sandra. There you go. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, missing some of the gold tone. I like it, though. So let's take a look at this. Oops. Boy, who knows if that originally came on that. I kind of like the S, though. Let's take a closer look at that. Here's some costume earrings. Uh, more costume earrings. More costume earrings. These look better than the others. Here's the ones right here. These look nicer than some of those other ones I was just showing you. Or they feel nicer. They're heavier. I don't know. Just something about them. I'm going to put these... Those on the right. Too bad that's not real. That would have been a goodie. That's pretty, though. I think I would put this in the auction. I have a lot of stuff to go into that auction. Uh, what is this? I don't even think that's jewelry. Is it? It's not a ring or something, right? Is it? That'd be crazy. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> No, that probably isn't, but I don't know what it is. It's unusual. It fits me. It's not that uncomfortable. I don't know. Maybe it would bug me after a while. These are in nice condition. Two little hoops. Very light. And these are plastic. Are there earrings? And this is a very pretty silver tone twisted bracelet. Not real, you know, too shiny, not heavy enough. Well, I got some pretty nice stuff, I think. I think this one, this is probably the best thing in here. What do you think? I do think so. You might laugh. I kind of like Dracula. Not bad for 10 bucks, but hey, I want to now show you my jewelry haul and then I'll show you a different kind of haul too because I did get some pretty things, including a Harry Winston item, which I'm pretty excited about. Let's have a look at this jewelry haul. I just got these things about an hour and a half ago or an hour ago. So the first thing I picked, just because everything is a dollar or two, is this. I love these smooth stones. I don't know what these are. It must be agate. That's what I always say. <laughs> Look, that one looks like candy corn, sort of. Those are interesting. Not old. I just thought it was pretty. Do you? I really do. I just like the feel of it and the look of it. So I got that one for a dollar. And then I saw this and I thought it was really pretty. I guess this is a Christmas, a Christmas brooch signed by KC. I have not, no idea who that is. I don't know. I thought it was pretty though for a dollar. Now I got this and I got it because it says Hope Let's take a look at that cartouche. Let me focus it. Um, well, it's, I don't know why it's not. Well, there you go. Yeah, I guess you can see that. Uh, but then I was just wondering if that's, you know, like stone, stone, stone. And yeah, there's supposed to be one right there that fell off. So that, uh, that is too bad because I think this one, you know, I probably could have sold for, for a little something, but Hey, look at this. Wow. Who else loves copper jewelry? This is humongous. This is really way big. A little bit aware to the copper. That does happen. Yeah, genuine copper. Genuine copper. I was thinking it maybe was a Renoir, but it, it isn't. But I love it. It sure is big. You know, it's really big. And I have the other piece to this. I can't remember what it is. I think I have the brooch. And I, I do think it's the same exact one. Very modernist ballerina. 
And I think that's something I can clean off of there, actually. This part, yeah, the chain part's not really in great condition, but I very, very much like that. I got this pretty vintage cross necklace. That's simulated um, a turquoise and coral, of course. I didn't see a maker on it, but I think it's colorful and pretty. Not old. There's our lobster claw clasp. But I thought it was really nice. You know, I was like, I don't know, maybe I can sell this for $12 or something. I think it's very pretty. It would be pretty on. And the last thing I got this morning, I got these earrings. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, here it is. Let's say I did have I had two a second ago. I got these because they must be sterling. I didn't see that they're marked, but um yeah, I just I know they are. Well, I think they are. And these are cute. So if I see something sterling for a dollar, especially like this, because they're they're cute. I can't pass those up. Not that like these would be worth a ton or, or anything like that. But yeah, if I could get, you know, 10 or $15 or something, I'm happy. So that's the haul from this morning. So now we're going to go on to a different haul. I'll just show you some really cute stuff I bought to sell on my eBay page. I really did get some cute stuff. And why don't we start off with the Harry Winston item? So this is a little bit strange because I don't usually watch my own videos but last night I was laying in bed and I couldn't sleep and I have this yard sale video that I was watching where I found a Harry Winston pen. The pen was a dollar. It was a solid 14 karat gold bamboo pen. And as I was watching the video and I was talking about it, I was saying, geez, I'd never seen a Harry Winston box before. And it is a very navy blue, uh, dark blue. You can't see it. My camera's making it look like a very strange color blue, but this is actually just navy blue. And then today I'm at this thrift store and the guy was bringing this out. He didn't even put it down yet. And I was like, what on earth? <laughs> I recognize the box. Now I quickly looked on my phone. I couldn't find anything like this. So I don't know if this is valuable or, or not valuable. I have a no idea. It is new though. And it has all of its like Harry Winston paper in there. Can you see that? It all says HW. How nice. How nice. So this is a very lovely Christmas dish. Isn't that nice? That's clearly hand painted. That's likely um, 24 karat gold painted. It's it's cool. This part is fired on. That can be called transferred wear. I always call those a, a decal, but people do call that transfer wear. And look, it still has its candies. I don't know if I, if I sell it, if I would put that in there. Oh, maybe there's a... Um, that, I wonder if those originally came in there. Used by 2025. Huh. Maybe that's a clue that this isn't old. I don't know. But it is new. Like, who does that? Who brings a Harry Winston dish in the Harry Winston box to a thrift store? And um, I paid $5 for it. What do you think? I think this might be a winner. I don't know. I, I truly think it's beautiful. I love it. I think it's very, very artistic. It almost looks like seaweed or something, like Christmas seaweed. Oh, I see. Duh. Am I really that dumb? Yep, I am. I Oh, I am. That's mistletoe. <laughs> it goes like this, I think. Well, I love it. And I hope it's worth a fortune. I don't know. It might not be. It might not be, but I can certainly not see myself, uh, you know, get, not getting back, uh, not getting my five back. <laughs> that's for sure. So, um, wow, that's my camera's like freaking out. Look at everything looks awful. Anyway, that's the first thing. Five bucks for that. I got these because I know Peter Rabbit is collectible. Look at these cute little gift bags, little Easter gift bags. Beatrix Potter. Yeah, sure. Well, I don't know if they're worth anything, but you know, if not, I will um use them. These will not go to waste. 
So if they don't sell and it's Easter time and anybody buys any jewelry, <laughs> you might be getting your jewelry in a Peter Rabbit gift bag. Isn't that cute? And look, that's like a separate piece. Eh, I don't know. I just thought they were adorable. Then I saw these little pigs peeking at me and I said, oh, those are cute. First of all, that's definitely their original basket just from the shape of it and stuff. They're a little bit dirty and they have that that glaze crackling, you know, like old pieces have. So it's a salt and pepper shaker. And I guess, I think this is not for honey. I think this is for sugar. I think you'd put a little spoon in there, I think. And, um, <laughs> but here's the thing. It's, uh, they're gobles. What does that say? 1966. See the, see the crackling? So, of course, Goebel, uh, well, that's the, the logo for it, that kind of V-looking thing with the dot in the middle. I've seen that before, too. But Goebel are the Hummel people. I'm sure you know that. I just have to clean these up. I don't know if they're worth anything. Uh, she charged me $3 for this set, so I, I just thought I'd take a chance. <laughs> they certainly are cute, though. That's for sure. Oh, I hope that's not a crack, is it? Oh, uh, it's like a glaze. It's like a glaze crack. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know. I'll look them up. They might not even be worth anything anyway, but <laughs> they're super fun regardless. Many years ago, my mom and I were at a yard sale and I guess this woman used to be a hairdresser or something. And she had a huge, huge, huge collection of wigs and we bought out all she had. And we made a lot of money on these wigs through, I mean, maybe it took us a whole year to sell them. I mean, we had, I don't know, 120 wigs or something. So I got this because I thought maybe it would sell. But if it doesn't, you know, I want to be uh, Mrs. Roper <laughs> for Halloween one of these years. And I was thinking this might be a good Mrs. Roper wig. This is actually a very high quality wig. Mod acrylic, huh? Made in Japan. Well, this is a very, uh, uh, yeah, I think this will actually be perfect for my Mrs. Roper. That's why I got it. This is actually beautiful. That would look really pretty on. I actually want to try it on. <laughs> I have so much hair. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, look, it's kind of long in the back too. Well, I got that one. I don't know. I'll see. And then I got this one because it looked like long hair. I couldn't really take it out of the box. It was like getting tangled. So let's see if we can figure this out. Cascading curls, clip on, color number 30. Before I had uh, long hair, I used to have, well, I still do. I have some of these in blonde that, um, that I actually used to love to wear. I would just clip, clip it on my hair, pull my hair back. And then I'd look like I had this really, really long ponytail. But let's see what's doing here. Okay, it's a clip. What a pretty color this is. Whoa, this is really nice. Oh, I bet you somebody would want to have this. So you clip, you clip it like this. You put your hair kind of in an upsweep. Oh, that's lovely. I bet you I can sell this for a bunch. How nice. Now, let me just see the tags in here. I'm just curious if it says, it's probably also, oops, my light just went out. Um, I'm just curious if it says what it's made of. Beauty Herpes Poly Young. Um, doesn't say. All right, I was just curious. I suppose it's not human hair, but but that's really nice. So anyway, <laughs> I just bought that to sell. I have to like brush it or something and like um, straighten it out, which, which I will do. So I got those two wigs. I bought these little miniature plates because they are Mary Englebright, which usually sells well for me. I got uh, two boxes and then some like just plates. So, oh, they're all new. Oh, that's really nice. That's really cute. I don't know what you'd put on here. They're awfully small. Well, we have the eggs, the basket, the bunny, <laughs> and the chick. 
very cute. There's a little bit of gray, uh, glaze crackling. Well, that's so strange because these are new. Nobody ever removed these from the box. I'll promise you that because they were in there really tight. Well, I don't know. I wonder if they all do that or if that's going to be a, a problem. Those are really fun, though. I did something rare today, too. I bought a pair of shoes. I don't usually sell clothing and shoes just because I don't know what's trendy. Uh, I don't really know what to look for. But I saw these, and first of all, they're cool. Second of all, they're quality. It's the same kind of stuff I do when I look for jewelry. And the name brand is Donald, what is it again? Donald uh, Pliner? Donald, yeah, Donald J. Pliner. Well, while I was standing there, I did look these up, or I just looked up the name brand. And it seems like this is indeed a very, very good name brand. This is awesome. That's called the Wedge, I think, right? What size are they? I think it was a common size or like six and a half or something. So I bought these just to take a chance. You know, uh, we we shall see. Ingrid, oh, that's good that it has the, well, I don't know. Maybe they're not worth anything. I'll find out. Um, these were $5. And I got these too. Uh, she charged me a dollar for these. These are napkin rings and they're all shell. Look at those flowers. Isn't that pretty? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And they're new in the package. I didn't see any breaks or anything. I just think those are so lovely. Don't you like those? I do. Look at the height. So I thought maybe this is a thing. They look like, um, you know, they had a little bit of age. That's probably for what, from 1993 and they were 1450. I don't know. Uh, I don't actually use napkin rings. Like even when we have company, we don't do napkin rings, but I know a lot of people do. And I just thought that they were very pretty. So maybe somebody would like to uh, have these. I picked this one out because it seemed like maybe it was a very rare thing. Shanghai Disney Resort grand opening, though, was $2. I know people collect Disney stuff. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like anybody, you know, used it. Look, it's got the, <laughs> I guess those are feathers from like, you know, from it being um, wrapped or whatever. So I picked this up. It was two dollars. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to get twenty five or thirty bucks for it. I have no idea. Maybe not. Maybe it's just nothing. But took a gamble on that. Here's the last thing I got today. How cute does this look? Happy Easter tweets and it's Hallmark, and uh, it doesn't work. So yeah, that's a bummer. I put the batteries in. I put brand new batteries in, and uh, it doesn't work. Well, that's sad. <laughs> to the microphone. That's so adorable. All right. Well, that one was a bust. Still cute though, but yeah, it. <laughs> I really need it to work, you know? Anyway, as always, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Let me know what your favorites are and I will certainly see you soon. Cheers.